Being a parent means love, joy, and for many, a healthy dose of guilt. I, for me, I know especially, but it doesn't have to be that way. <laughs> Family psychotherapist Arden Greenspan Goldberg is here now to give us some advice on how to get rid of the guilt. I'm so glad you came Aww. in today. Oh, I could I'm... use your help. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for oh, coming, sure, Arden. Sure. I think so much of the guilt that I feel as a parent comes from being a mom who works full time. Right. I would imagine that's pretty common. Absolutely. It's hard to combine work and home, and I think we as women uh, are still caught up in being super women and uh, we think we expect that we could do it all and we have to lower our expectations a little bit like we try. Take, yeah i know it take parenting seriously but not to take ourselves so seriously okay so one of the tips you give is to focus on wherever you are at the time be it at home mm -hmm. or at the office so how do you stop feeling like when you're at the office oh my gosh i should be home and when you're home oh i need to be at work well i think if it's stuff about you know uh, tasks you have to make a list but you also have to be appreciative that you know ambivalence is in the air sometimes that we're going to feel an overlap and that's okay but I think we have to really focus in on task at hand and feel joyful and passionate about being in work and joyful and passionate when we're with our kids and be mindful of that there's going to be some some stuff floating in our head and we just have to shoo it away to some degree. So how do you prepare for the overlap like the emergency call from the babysitter or school when you're at at work or call from the boss when you're at home? I know I mean you, we could say we could anticipate it but then we'll be anxious all the time. I think there are times where if we're getting a call at home we have to gauge and judge how serious the call is. If your child has 104, you drop everything at work and you go. Mm -hmm. But if you're getting a call from work on the weekend and it's not that urgent, it's something perhaps that could wait till Monday. But right. it may be urgent, so it's a judgment call, Julie. You have to kind of gauge and see the seriousness of the, of the uh, request or demand. Evaluate each call or each yeah, thing as it happens. Right. Now you say finding a good caretaker is so important. Oh. It, it really can help you manage the guilt. Oh my God, it's, it's everything to have someone that's uh, warm and a, a substitute you. Because the parent, you're really the constant in your child's life, but you need to have someone, a caretaker or a caretaking facility that will give you peace of mind so you can leave feeling really, really good that your child is in great hands. Now, while you're balancing work at home, you need to make time for yourself. And I know a lot of moms mm -hmm. out there are saying, how do I do that? How do I find time in the day? But it's so important. Oh, it's so, so key. Even for moms at home, you have to uh, take some time for yourself just to go walk outside a little bit, get some air. And I know mommies with babies nap when they're napping, okay? Don't be doing all these chores. Uh, think about yourself. And think about the kind of role model you want to be as well. If you want your family to respect you, you have to respect yourself. You're worth it and you deserve it to take that time for yourself. You're special. Makes you a better mom or dad. Absolutely. Or dad as well. That's right. You have to take that time for yourself. It's key. It's all about self-care and self-soothing and recharging the battery. We have a lot of people that depend on us, don't we, Julie? There are quite a few. Yeah. At yeah. least three at home that I can <laughs> name right now. <laughs> right. Now, you recommend getting home before bedtime as much as possible. It's something I try to do every night. Right. Why is it so important? Oh, I think having that closure at the end of the day for you and for your child is everything. To have, like you said to me, about the wonderful reading time. Family book time. Family book time, yeah. as well as sometimes we do some troubleshooting at that point. How was your day, sweetie? And there may have been something that didn't work out too well. So we're there for our child to kind of you know, help them through that so they could have sweet dreams and a peaceful sleep. Arden, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Hopefully parents can let a little bit of the guilt go now. Absolutely. I'm please, going to, just please. a little bit. Lower and the bar. Lower, lower, the bar. It. lower it. And if you want to email Arden, she can be reached at inquire at askarden.com or you can check out her website, www.askarden.com. Thanks for watching Parents TV. We'll see you next time.